With this app, you get bubble clouds both on your phones and tablets home screens and on the screen of your Android Wear smartwatch if you have one. You can use it on either or on both. Bubble clouds are amorphous groups of colorful circles. They give you access to your apps, contacts, websites, and even let you start task or tasks. The trick is that bubbles can grow with use. The more frequently used bubbles may stand out from the crowd. Bubble Cloud Launcher is currently the only watch face that offers you unlimited number of watch face complications. You can place as many as you want on your watch face and you can also place watch face complications in the app drawer and you can have multiple app drawers or multi-page app drawers so you can have your favorite contacts on one page your weather related complications on another and your applications on a third page and there is no limit to the number of pages bubble clouds on your smartwatch can be used in two distinct ways. If you have a favorite watch face, you can keep using it and drag the app drawer in from the edge of the screen. Select which side the drawer is located at, adjust the size of the handle. You can see only the upper half of the edge is sensitive. This is to reduce interference with other apps and cards in the watch. And you can also double tap on this hotspot to engage the app drawer. Alternatively, you can use Bubble Clouds as a very practical interactive watch face. Beyond the clock bubble and various other information bubbles, you can place a few of your most often used apps on the watch face. Tap the clock bubble to switch between active launcher mode when you can swipe to access the rest of your apps or when the clock bubble is black your swipes and long presses will have their usual functions as in any other watch face to access the cards settings or the system app list this toggling hack is necessary because watch faces don't register swipe gestures normally to save battery power and prevent screen burning set your ambient watch face to use hollow bubbles or even hide some of the bubbles in ambient mode. As a burning prevention measure, you can have the bubbles to rotate around the clock bubble. Use the Android Wear card in the phone app to choose whether you want app drawer mode or the dedicated watch face mode. Either way, you can organize your apps into two clouds. The favorites, which can only be a screen full, and the archive cloud which will expand horizontally to allow for any number of icons. Long press bubbles on the watch to move them between archive and favorite. You can have the screen brightness control between these two clouds. Press the A to toggle auto brightness on smartwatches with light sensors. On watches with OLED screens, the A stands for ambient brightness. You can dim the ambient watch face to conserve battery or reduce distraction in the theater, for example. The brightness control will store a different setting for daylight and nighttime and switch between them at sunset and sunrise. As you could see on various screenshots so far, the bubbles can be arranged in a variety of layouts including the random cloud of bubbles similar to the home screen widgets but there are more structured layouts both for the favorite and the archive clouds one of the strengths of bubble clouds is that if you choose the icons can grow to different sizes according to their use frequency there is even a drag and drop layout designer for those who want to create their own layouts with complete control over the size and position of the bubbles in the favorites cloud and the watch face. You can export and share your layouts using the clipboard. Another thing you might have noticed in the screenshot so far is the shape of the icons. With the use of standard Android icon packs, 
theming your app drawer offers limitless possibilities. You can pick individual icons or apply a theme to all the bubbles at once. Even the live info bubbles can be themed. You can also set the background to any color or use image backgrounds as wallpapers behind the favorites or archive clouds. Both analog and digital clock bubble faces are customizable with colors and graphics. The Wear Cloud Editor navigation item takes you to the list of apps installed on your watch. Set the cloud for each app, favorite or archive, or completely hide unwanted apps from the app drawer. And this is where you can assign live info to the different bubbles. The bubble for the calendar app should show the current date. The fitness app icon can show the daily steps count. The weather app bubble may be set to show the weather conditions, and there are more. You can enable remote and Wi-Fi toggle bubbles, which will also toggle tethering hotspot if you choose. Bubble Clouds was the first launcher on Android Wear to offer sticky open mode, which will pin any app to your screen without draining the battery by reopening them when you tilt to wake the watch. Double tap icons to sticky open them, or mark apps in the list, which will always be opened in sticky mode. There is more. Long press the clock bubble for a non-dimming full screen watch face with smooth moving seconds hand for perfect pulse taking. Double tap the clock bubble or use the dedicated bubble for one touch voice search from the watch face. Tap the phone battery bubble to beacon your phone, which will stop ringing as soon as you find it and pick it up. Add any number of tasker bubbles to your watch, which can start tasker tasks on your phone. Control music this way or switch profiles, open phone apps, your imagination is the limit. Have the screen turn sideways while the watch is on charger. You can install a separate plugin for your watch to preserve your health by reminding you to stand up if prolonged inactivity is detected. Use the last navigation item to create and maintain a cloud of contacts on your watch. Add a maximum of 15 contacts by groups or recent callers. Call, text or email them right from your watch. Long press on the watch to set a default means of communication when the contact is tapped. Long press on the contact bubble to change the default. One of the most missed features in Android Wear 2.0 is the ability to use the hardware button to enter theater mode. Bubble Cloud Launcher Watch Face helps with this uh, because it remaps the hardware button, long press, uh, to enable a special theater mode. You can already see it on the screen. In this special theater mode, the screen does not turn off completely, but it's dimmed below the regular level. So it is not distracting. And screen touches are disabled. I can touch the screen anywhere and it's not going to open apps or make any changes in the watch. And I can exit theater mode by long pressing the hardware button again and then I'm back to the um, touches and everything else. But this is only one of the things that can be mapped to the hardware button. In the settings application there is this new section uh, called long press button and you can see there is a long list of things here. I can uh, also lock the screen without dimming it. We also have the sunlight mode. In sunlight mode if we long press the button, the screen brightness is increased to the maximum brightness temporarily until the next time the screen turns off. Then the watch returns to original setting. You see now the screen dimmed to ambient. When I wake it up, it goes back to that lower level which it was. Other things we can assign to this hardware button is the ability to start the timer, for example. So if you're a doctor or nurse and you need this special timer, often you can assign it to this hardware button. I long press the button and I entered the special ambient mode with the sweeping second hand. And it also records 
the time I entered, it vibrates at every 15 seconds or every minute, depending on how I set it up. So that's another thing I can assign to this button. And you would think, how will I choose? There are so many useful options that can be assigned to this button. No need to choose. You can assign several at the same time. So I can say, I want theater mode and a second press will bring me sunlight mode. Now the two functions are assigned. If I long press, it will enter this dimmed theater mode and touches are prevented. On the other hand, if I long press it twice, one, two, then we enter the high brightness mode and the screen is not locked. If you use bubble clouds in app drawer mode, let's say with a different watch face, you might want to assign different functions. You can, for example, assign the app drawer to this button. So long pressing the button will open the app drawer and pressing it two times will enter theater mode. This is an option. If I assign the app drawer to the hardware button, I can hide the handle completely and just use uh, the hardware button to open my uh, app drawer. So let's see. Here on my watch face, I can long press the hardware button and here's my app drawer. And pressing the button again will exit the app drawer. Or if you press two times on the hardware button, you enter this special theater mode that we talked about. This is the secondary function to it. And now I unlocked it. Again, app drawer, and I can go to the settings and all of these can be arranged here. In the watch face settings card, you can set the clock bubble to either analog or digital style, but there is a lot more to the clock bubble. Press on this little configuration icon next to them or tap on the shortcut in the corner of the folded watch face card to open the clock settings. If you use bubble cloud launcher in drawer mode, the clock is simply one of the bubbles in the cloud. And when you click it, it brings up the non-dimming full screen clock with the smooth moving seconds hand, which is a great way to measure short periods of time. This non-dimming clock will vibrate at the end of each minute, marked with the small red markers. To prevent accidental battery drain, it will auto-exit after three minutes unless you tap the screen to reset these markers. Okay, so long press on the clock bubble to adjust its size or even the color and location, whether you want it in the favorites or in the archive. Uh, Bubble Clouds, on the other hand, is a fully featured watch face. In watch face mode, clicking the clock bubble will toggle between the active and inactive ambient modes. You will have to long press on the active clock bubble to get to the non-dimming full screen clock. You can double click on the clock bubble to start voice search without saying OK Google. In the watch face settings card, you can also set the clock bubble to fill the screen. The rest of the favorite bubbles will be moved to the next screen. Alternatively, you can keep multiple bubbles on your watch face and only make the clock bubble full screen in ambient mode with this setting. Finally, there is a way to keep a full screen clock and use bubbles as complications on it if you set either the clock dial layout for the analog or the split layout for the digital clock. Especially if used in full screen mode, you will want to adjust the appearance of the clock bubble though. You have control over all the colors, background, hours, minutes and even seconds when enabled. To avoid screen burning, it is recommended to keep the 
black background color in ambient mode, but you can set the color of the circle around it. Make any of the colors partially transparent with the transparency control. As you can see, the digital clock bubble has extra items such as AM, PM field, leading zeros and separators. The font size can also be changed both when the time is displayed in multiple lines or in a single line. And to adjust the font, you will have to install one of the one-click theme packs. Fonts can give a very special style to your watch face. Click on the last theme in the theme selector to restore the original system font. Not only the background color, but the bubble itself can be changed to any image. You can either pick a suitable icon from any icon pack installed on your phone. This background image will be treated as the dial for the analog clock bubble. But you can also change the appearance of the hands. Change the colors. or assign graphical assets from the gallery of your phone. And simply crop any part of a photo or other picture from your gallery. Of course, finding or creating graphical watch face components is not for everybody. This is where the one-click theme packs come handy again. These themes come complete with dials, hands and even background textures. If you want to change the color, you will need to go back to the default graphics one by one. You can also pick and choose components from them if you long press on the, their icon in the theme selector. I get the hands from one theme and the clock dial from another. They are all designed to work together. These controls in Bubble Cloud Launcher are designed to help you change the look and feel of your watch with just a few clicks. Now you can have a fully featured, elegant looking watch face with quick access to the information, settings and all the apps on your watch. And this is the current state of Bubble Cloud Widgets and Launcher. It's a complete system as you can see. There are so many fans and so much interest that you can be sure many more features are coming in the future.